back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second trimester must-haves. I am currently 26 weeks and three days pregnant with my rainbow baby girl, Brinley. So I think next week I will be in my third trimester, which is so exciting. But in today's video, I'm going to go over a bunch of things that really helped me at this point in my pregnancy, specifically the second trimester. I also did a video on my first trimester must-have, so if you're not quite in your second trimester yet and you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out. I will link it up here and down below in the description box if you haven't seen it already. And also everything that I mentioned in today's video that I can link, I will link in the description box as well. So if you want to check out any of the products that I talk about, make sure to check out my links. And I do want to start off this video like I did with my first trimester video by saying I am not a medical professional. So any supplements or medications that I might talk about, please clear them with your doctor before starting them yourself or if you have any specific pregnancy related questions about you and your pregnancy, I would save those for your doctor as well because I would hate to give someone advice that worked for me, it might not work for you. So just clear everything like that with your doctor. Also, I do wanna add that a lot of the products I talked about in my first trimester must have video, I am still using, like I mentioned, a big cup of water, to always have a big cup of water next to you. Still do that, I'm still wearing the wireless bras, still taking the same prenatals, and still using the same belly butter. So if you wanna check out what like specific brands and styles of those products I'm using, also go check out that video. So the first category I'm gonna cover is what to eat, drink, and take as far as supplements that helped me in the second trimester. And something that I started taking is this Pink Stork Pro along with my prenatal every day. So this is basically a probiotic specifically for pregnancy and it reduces morning sickness, helps with heartburn and constipation, and promotes a healthy gut. So constipation and just irregularity is something that really kicked in with me in the second trimester and I know that it kicks in for a lot of women around this time. So I highly recommend some kind of probiotic. This is the one that I chose because it's vegan, it's natural. I love the brand Pink Stork. I've taken so many of their products over the last year. So this is the probiotic that I recommend. The next thing I wanna recommend is Tums because heartburn really kicked in for me in the second trimester. And I just throw these little things of Tums in my purse. It's just really easy for on the go, and I personally like the taste of Tums. It doesn't bother me at all. So anytime I get heartburn, usually in the evenings is when it's the worst, I usually have to take two or three Tums and I highly recommend that for heartburn relief. The next thing I wanna talk about is something I just recently added to my nighttime routine, and now I can't imagine not including it in my nighttime routine. So if you're like me, around the second trimester, I just have trouble like winding down before bed, falling asleep, staying asleep, I don't know what it is. I will feel pretty tired during the day here and there, but then once it's time for bed, I don't know if it's because my mind is wandering and racing about all these upcoming things that I need to get done or that I'm looking forward to with my pregnancy and when a baby girl gets here, but it's just hard for me to wind down at night. So I started adding this to my nighttime routine and it is a tea that actually helps you relax and fall asleep faster. And it's by the brand Teamy and it is their Relax Tea. I am so glad that I discovered this company, specifically this product, because I'm telling you guys, it really works. And I wouldn't say that if it weren't true. This is something I highly recommend, even if you're not pregnant and you just have trouble falling asleep. I drink this probably about 30 to 45 minutes before I go to bed, and it just helps me relax so much. The ingredients are all natural. It's just peppermint, yarrow, lavender flower, chamomile, lemongrass, orange peel, and valerian root. It is so tasty, and I actually use this cute little diffuser that Timmy sells, and you just put the tea right in this strainer, pop this on there, and then you just set this in boiling or really hot water, and it diffuses 
your tea and you don't get all the floaties in there. So I absolutely love this product. I actually have a discount code for you guys if you want to check out Tea Me. They have several different teas, not just teas to help you sleep. They have teas to give you energy. They have teas for weight loss. They have some for colon health. They also have a skincare line and they have some really, really cute tumblers and cups and accessories for the tea products. So if you guys want to check them out, they did give me a couple of discount codes. One is 15EM. I'll put it right here on the screen for you. That will get you 15% off of your order on anything on their website, which is just teamy.com, which I will link down below for you as well. And also for just the rest of May, so only about a week left, if you spend $39 or more on Teamy's website, you can get 25% off with my code 25EM. So make sure to take advantage of that. It's like I said, only for the rest of May, but the 15% off discount code is still good for you guys for a while. So thank you to all of you that use my discount code and I hope you guys love their products like I do. So the next category that I'm gonna talk about is a few things that I started using in the second trimester that I just really didn't need yet in the first trimester or wasn't far enough along to use yet. And the first one is a baby Doppler. So this is the one that I use. It was very highly recommended to me. It's the Sonaline B brand, and I'll open it for you guys to show you what it looks like. I found a deal on Groupon for this. I wanna say it was about $45 or so. It comes with this ultrasound transmission gel that you put on your belly. Here's the wand that it comes with, and then this just hooks into the actual baby Doppler on the bottom. And then you turn it on, run this part over your belly, and you can find a baby's heartbeat from home. I don't really recommend a baby Doppler in the first trimester because you may not be far enough along to be able to detect the heartbeat from home. And I would hate for someone to be in a panic because they can't find their baby's heartbeat. So by the time you're in the second trimester, you should definitely be able to detect baby's heartbeat on a device like that as long as it's reliable and I know especially for rainbow mamas like me this is my rainbow baby if you've ever experienced loss your mind tends to wander between appointments and even if you haven't pregnancy especially in the early stages can be really nerve-wracking and in between appointments you might just need that peace of mind to know that baby's heart is still beating away and everything is going good so I highly recommend getting a baby Doppler in the second trimester. The next thing I started using in the second trimester that I swear by is my pregnancy pillow. I don't have it here with me because it is huge, but I will put a picture right here to show you guys the one that I get and I will link it down below as well. I love this thing. It's only about 45 to 50 dollars on Amazon, which is pretty typical for pregnancy pillows. And I just love the style of this. I put, um, depending on what side I'm sleeping on, I put one end in between my legs to keep my hips aligned and I put my arm underneath and I can just kind of cuddle the pillow and then I put the other part against my back so I feel really supported and this also keeps me from rolling over onto my back when I sleep because I have that part that's like against my back to remind me not to sleep on my back because once you get to the second trimester, you don't really wanna sleep on your back too much because it puts too much pressure on everything. So I highly, highly recommend a pregnancy pillow, even if you want one before the second trimester, but I really didn't feel a need for one until now, and now I don't know how I'm gonna sleep without it once she comes. <laughs> now I'm gonna talk about things that I started wearing in the second trimester. The first one is a pretty obvious one, maternity clothes. I really didn't need to wear maternity clothes in the first trimester because I didn't have a bump yet and it just wasn't necessary yet. But by the time you get to your second trimester, if you're like me, your bump's getting bigger, especially near the end of the second trimester, and especially pants and shorts are just not going to fit you anymore. You might still get away with like loose shirts or longer tanks or tees, but any bottoms are probably not going to fit anymore. The hair tie trick might not be cutting it anymore. I know that I got a Bella band from Target in the beginning of my second trimester and or maybe it was the end of first. I don't exactly remember. Somewhere around there. And I could only wear that for maybe a month or so and then even that was just 
too uncomfortable and shifted too much. So invest in some maternity clothes. You will be so much more comfortable. I am going to be my most pregnant in the summer. It's already super hot. So my favorite things that I have that are maternity are my maternity shorts, just like denim shorts. You can't tell that they're maternity because your shirt is going to cover the band that goes over your belly. And they are so comfortable, you guys. Also, dresses. Even if they're not maternity, a lot of maxi dresses, if you get the ones that like cinch under your bust instead of at your waist, that is perfect. It doesn't have to be maternity, but you will be so comfortable. So definitely, it's time to go shopping and get some maternity clothes. The next thing that I purchased in the second trimester is bra expanders. So I got this three pack off of Amazon for less than $5 and they come with a nude color, a white, and a black. And I got the ones with just two prongs because most of my bras are just two prongs. I know they sell others with three to four, but these work perfect for me. They were super inexpensive and they're just a really inexpensive way to still be able to wear your regular bras a little bit longer into your pregnancy because your rib cage is expanding. So just because your actual bust might not be getting too much bigger, you might still need more room along your rib cage because that is going to expand. Mine definitely has. So I just attach one of these to my regular bras and it gives me more room. It is so much more comfortable and so worth the small price. That is everything for my second trimester must-haves. It's a little bit shorter than my first trimester must-haves because honestly the second trimester was just a lot easier. I have more energy, I'm not feeling as sick, and I love food again. So not quite as long of a list this time, but I still stand by everything that I mentioned today. Let me know down in the comments if you guys use any of these in your second trimester and if they helped you. Don't forget to check out teamyblends.com if you wanna try out the Relax Tea or any of their other products. And don't forget to use my discount codes to save you some money. And like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.